Hi guys, so are you one of those students who have spent their entire pocket money and at the end of the month you're left with almost nothing but broke? So don't worry, in this video I'll be sharing you some tips and budget on how you can save the most of your pocket money and buy all of those luxurious items and probably whatever you are eyeing on at once. So without further ado, let's get started. So first you'll be needing a pen and a paper. Write down these things as you can see on the screen. You have your pocket money, your non-negotiable expenses, negotiable expenses, the person you want to save and the budget. Now at this time you are being given pocket money by your parents or whosoever. So you should take the most advantage of it as you have no liabilities of paying anybody bills. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Now here. In the pocket money, you'll be writing the amount of pocket money you've been given. For example, here I'm writing 2000 rupees and then you're going to be writing the expenses on how you're spending those money. Now the non-negotiable expenses are those which you cannot kind of, you know, uh, put a break on them. Those are necessity ones, whereas the negotiable expenses are those which you can, you know, it's not necessary to purchase them. It's like up to you. So starting off with the negotiable expenses. First, you'll be having your travel expenses. It'll include everything like petrol, if you are riding, bus, cab and even rickshaw prices because those are the main ways you, you know, you're going to college, school, you need to reach there first. So that again accounts in your pocket money. Next is the stationary products that you have to buy. It's again something you cannot resist, you have to purchase. Then comes your books. Now books will include your notebooks, your textbooks and then Along with the books and notebooks, you also have your notes and Xeroxes that you need to take like if your teacher asks you to, you know, get this thing Xeroxed or that and that. And the other one is parking. Now at my college, I do have to pay for parking. It might differ from college to college, but there are some unnecessary, you know, things which you have to pay for. Next, coming to the negotiable expenses, we have canteen, which I do not even need to talk about. Tea and coffee. I see so many students who literally have tea and coffee on a daily basis from outside. Then you have movies planned with your friends. Unnecessary impulse purchases. By that, I mean purchases that you make with your friends. If your friend is getting it for affordable price, even you will end up buying it. So it's quite unnecessary. And then comes your party purchases. So whether it includes your pub clubbing, alcohol or hotel or whatever. So it all is accounted from your pocket money. So these are the things that you need to know down first. So you kind of have a rough idea about what all and where all you've been spending your money. And this will differ from person to person because not everybody has a similar lifestyle. So this is what mine looks like. Then coming to the percent you want to save. Now consider I want to save 30% of my pocket money. It can be as much percent you want to save. Whether it's 10%, it's good to start off. So I'll basically do 30 divided by 100 multiplied by the amount of pocket money that I have. That's 2000. And after you are done with your basic math calculation, you're left with the amount you want to save every month. So here I get 600 rupees as 30% of 2000 if I want to save that much every month. So my budget will basically become 2000 that is my pocket money minus the amount I want to save. So 2000 minus 600 is going to give me 1400. So I have to cover both of my expenses negotiable and non-negotiable within 1400. Now I have uh, put a photo of this entire sheet on the right hand side so you can basically click a screenshot of it if you're not able to understand. So this way you could find the amount of budget you are being assigned by yourself as well. Now coming to the tips on how you can achieve that budget and how you can kind of save that much amount of money. So coming to the negotiable tips. First thing is to get your food. Getting your food, it will literally make a huge difference because you will have something to kind of binge on and not spend money. Next. Tiffin. Now, if you're someone who cannot get Tiffin, you are a hostelite, try eating in mess or probably join a Tiffin service that will give you Tiffin at an affordable price. Next is to buy an electric machine for your coffee and tea, which is again very, very necessary because it's better to either have it at home or have a machine if you're a hostelite than to spend on it every now and then. It's a great one-time investment. Next is to avoid movies. 
because uh, I mean why do you even need to watch movies as of now because all of the movies are now available online so rather buy or share subscriptions with your friends like you know let's say a subscription is of 500 you both pay 250 250 and you get to watch all of it now if you want to go for movies go for morning shows and as far as i know morning shows doesn't cost you more than 70 to 120 rupees next is to avoid impulse buys like you can probably buy once in a month but set a like a restriction like i'll buy it but just of rupees 100 not more than that next coming to the non negotiable expenses now in the non negotiable expenses this is something that you'll have to push a bit hard because those things are you have to buy but you kind of want to save as well so for petrol if you use a two wheeler or a four wheeler use offers like card paytm upi never pay by cash because online offers are way better than just simply giving the cash cash next coming to the bus and metros go for like the metro card and the bus card that you get because that will literally change a lot and one more thing keep change with you while you're going because in long run it'll make a big difference next is to buy stationery online now you could almost get from 25 to 50% off so it's better to buy stationery online and it'll save a lot of money in the long run Next is to try writing notes rather than getting them xeroxed and get your textbook xerox. I have had textbooks of 200 500 rupees which I got them xeroxed for just rupees 50. I mean look at the difference. So get your textbook xeroxed it'll make a big difference. And one more thing go for options like Paytm, Google Pay, UPI cards and all of these offers there are so many apps available now that can help you save a lot of money that can give you a lot of cashbacks so look for all of those things even a 2 rupee 10 rupee cashback is a lot trust me lastly save those coins I mean we have been collecting coins since we were kids but trust me it adds on to a lot of money I mean by the end of the month I literally have coins worth 100 200 rupees with me so collect those coins and next time you'll be definitely saving more of your pocket money I hope you guys found this video helpful subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos